Rhino Refugee Camp in Arua District in the West Nile region has been a host settlement for refugees from South Sudan since a civil war broke out in the Young Nation in 2013. By August, the camp had exceeded its capacity of 150,000 people. The huge number of refugees has created several challenges, the biggest one being the shortage of clean water. <laughs> Every time people will just come, people will just come, then people, the water will got finished. At the moment when they, the one they are bringing, when this is get over, and then people also suffer because of the water. The shortage has gotten so bad that some refugees with children have resorted to non treasury bathing them in order to save water. According to the camp commandant, the amount of water given per person has been reduced so as to ensure that the little water available can serve everybody. Our, the severe standard, which would be the standard of each person to receive water, would be 20 liters per person per day. But because of the limited resources now and water not being enough, for example, we are at 12.4 per person per day. The Uganda Red Cross Society, together with other organizations, is trying to get clean water to the camp. It's from this river called Enyao that they harvest water, which is purified and later availed for consumption. Then with the increased number of refugees coming in, we had to scale up the unit by introducing in bigger tanks that are currently producing about 650 cubic liters per day. The dirty water in River is one of the biggest challenges that Red Cross is finding in its bid to provide clean water to the refugees. Now, this means that they have to incur more money in order to purify it to become safe for human consumption. Sometimes when it floods, it goes into people's latrines, yeah. being the lowest point, and you have all the fecal matter washed out and deposited into the river. That's what the team struggles with here. So what we have here is more than, the list is about 600 NTUs oh, okay. and when it rains it yeah. goes to about 1,800. Yeah. So the team has to struggle and bring it down yeah. to an appreciable level of below 5 okay. NTUs. River Nile crosses through this area into South Sudan and it has relatively cleaner water. But Chagaba explains why they opted for Inyao instead. We installed the unit here purposely because it's in the middle of the settlement and it would facilitate easier delivery of water to the people who need it. Chagaba confesses that the water shortage has caused disease outbreak in some villages. And this is, of course comes with a number of other additional components like uh, Invepi has had a challenge of water washed diseases. There's been outbreaks of scabies. In the meantime, as the camp administrators are looking for ways of increasing the number of water purifying stations, they are exploring ways to tap water from the Nile, which doesn't require huge sums of money to purify. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.